could. Bitch, I bet I would. On the low, what's up with you, ho? Bitch, you smoking drunk. Bitch, you know, bust like 44 when I spit that flow. Cause we go. What's up, everybody? It's a war recap. White Temple versus Shari Yari Ha. Nice little beat down, 56 stars out of 60. And all the uh, nines, three stars, a couple of town hall tens, three stars. Gonna feature a goey on this big old square base. This guy's got some walls around his army camps because he doesn't want you messing with his army camps. Some low level inferno towers in there. Pretty easy to deal with, dragon balloon combo in the uh, clan castle. Three golems out here, one uh, giant in the clan castle, little smattering of wizards there. This is Ryan, he looks like a town hall 10, but he really he's a nine and a half. He hasn't built any defenses. He helps us out in the matchmaking a little bit. Uh, helps us out in the attacking a lot of bit when he smashes bases like he did this one. Didn't bring any free spells this time, we got three ragers in here. We got uh, a couple of golems went straight in the middle as the, did the Barb King. Got two around the top, one around the bottom, and the, or two around the bottom actually. And luckily the Queen followed that one around, because those wizards are going bye bye. And uh, Barb King's in there taking care of business along with those golems. Helps that we have a whole lot of Town Hall 9 type defenses in here. Queen's still making her way around the bottom. She's half health. The king in there. Uh, this is a goner. He's uh, circling stars around his head. These golems are still tanking for us. And shit, he's got four of them that haven't exploded yet. It's ridiculous. Hundred percent, three stars. All right, the next attack we're gonna highlight for you is gonna be against the number six base. This is going to be Jansen Five taking on Yakuza. Decent little anti-three setup here. Going to throw some giants down with the golem to uh, make a giant funnel here. Hopefully, take out that archer tower. Uh oh, the giants are gone. Wall breaker our way in through here and drop a kill squad down. Trying to get rid of that sweeper, that archer queen. Looks like we're really pulling up getting a Tesla in this. The clan castle troops and the air defense. Might sneak that expo into this kill squad. Release the hounds. We got two of them going clockwise from the kill squad. That's a good way to do it. That expo has turned away from the uh, archer queen, which is good. Taking out a pretty good bit of moves there. And it's gone. Now those backside moves are just going to make their way over. Supplement where that lava hound is. We're going to throw a couple more balloons on the point defenses on the outside. Everything's kind of curling around nicely. We still have a lava hound over two. One of them's gonna pop. I think the other one might pop right in here. Give us a good bit of lava pups. Rage the pups in the grass there. And have one more uh, loon waiting in the wings for that archer tower. Had its name on it. Feature a 
mid-level Town Hall 9 right here. This is going to be Montu. Going to throw down a Goho. Getting the whole spectrum here. We're going to get a uh, just an overpowered Go Wiz attack, and then a Go Laloon attack, and now a Go Ho attack. Uh, I think the idea up there was to pull that clan castle. It didn't happen. Can't waste any more troops trying, so we're going to just go kill Squall at the southeast and hope for the best. Spoiler alert, it works out okay. Jump spell on that corner. The way this base is set up, everything's kind of pushed to the outside, so you put that one jump spell and it gives you access to, I don't know, about 50%, maybe 45% of the base. 45% of the base is access I'll take. There's also not a whole lot of spaces for double giant bombs on the interior, so you take out that uh, east corner and then drop hogs in the, all the other corners and for the most part, they're going to stay in the interior in there. Um, that Archer Queen is, uh, you know, taking out a whole lot of defenses on her own. She's going to catch an Expo, which is good, because there's only two of them, so 50%. And uh, the Hogs are done with the other one. So now we really only have that uh, Tesla to worry about, and it's gone. So that's it for defenses. If you take, a, you know, if you took this base and you took the walls out of it, it's really just like a defensive ring. Used to be an old base called the Ringus, and it was a uh, defensive ring. It used to put the uh, giant bombs in a path around the circle, and uh, you put uh, all the core defenses in the middle with a ring of resources around it. And the hogs pretty much stayed on the outside of the ring while the expos and stuff hit them. That base right there was kind of like, hey, you throw the hogs in here, they're gonna kind of all hang in the middle, and there's not really anything to uh, to beat up on them. I used to call it a number sign base. This is another similar type of base in terms of how it's laid out with the defenses kind of spread outside of this uh, number sign looking thing, pound sign. And you got a uh, Town Hall 8 here, which uh, this is featuring level 4 bacon. I don't know uh, if you remember when you were uh, upgrading your stuff, level 4 is not that exciting. But uh, against the Town Hall 8 here, with no Archer Queen, this is pretty exciting because this is going to end up in a Honda. This is uh, Diz 2.0 going up against Gelatiator. That guy uh, really likes uh, murdering ice cream. Apparently, Italian ice cream. So uh, that's it. Bacon Parade. There's uh, hogs all over the place. So uh, you can see there was two giant bombs in one spot and then one, I mean, uh, not really sure why we don't see a lot of that. Anyway, uh, join us at Shogun Recruitment, download the band app, search for Shogun Recruitment. Well,